Over 1.3 million tons of sugarcane currently sits in fields across northern Belize ready to be harvested. But sugarcane farmers are worried that the only sugar mill in their area does not have the capacity to process all this cane. For many years that ESR has taken over BSI, they came in with a platform that from since 2017, they came in 2012, 2013 they started and they told us that for five years they should increase the milling capacity of the mill or the production of sugar in the mill. And we have reached 2021, we are almost 2022 and nothing of that has happened. Now they came out with this that they will be starting crop with 3,000, 3,500 for the next five weeks until they commission the other, the other boiler to start working. What would happen? It will be a great sacrifice on the side of the farmers, the cane cutters and the drivers. As a consequence, some 100,000 tons of cane could potentially be left in the field at the end of the season in mid-July of 2022. What make farmers worried because they have invested significantly in the cane fields and they are not as as how the crop is beginning, we don't have an assurance that we will be able to deliver all our cane. Because if you could remember last year, we begin at the middle of January to the 28th of July, and we delivered among approximately 1.2 million tons. So now we have 1.3. And right now, as the crop will begin, this 3,000 and 3,500 will be for the next four weeks. So financially, it will affect the farmers, because you will be spending more money and you will be making less. Essentially, if it comes to this, a decision will have to be made as to which farmers' investment will be left in the field or how the losses will be divided. It is even more concerning because as it turns out, farmers say they have been operating at a loss. We as farmers have an average cost of production per ton of cane of 17 to 17.50 dollars per ton for each ton that's producing ratoon cane in in producing plant cane it would go, go a bit higher than the 17 dollars and 50 cents for each ton but then we have an average of 30 dollars to for the harvest which is the cut load and transport so that's already that's already that's already forty-seven dollars and fifty cents per ton. Plus we cover sixty-five percent of the trip thirty-three point two million that is deducted in the cost of exporting the sugar. So if you add the seventeen fifty in the field, you add the, the thirty dollars in the harvest, and you add the seventeen dollars, we need at least to be surviving to be even sixty-five dollars per ton. That's our cost of production. That's our reality. Last year it was it was fifty. We ended with fifty-four dollars and fifty-four, fifty-six, right? Fifty-four dollars and fifty-six cents. So that's why I say, yeah. And we and we and we invest sixty-five dollars on it. What farmers receive from the mill is influenced by global prices and market shares. But any discussion about increasing Belize's world market share will also include a discussion about possibly increasing production. Farmers are now saying they need an alternative to ASRBSI's milling capacity. That's, what, that's one of the biggest limitations we have been repeating from 2014. We have been repeating this from 2014, which is when we exceeded the capacity of the mill and the farmers started to stay with overproduction in their fields. And as Mr. Alonso is saying, the investment being done in millions, yes, we appreciate that. But then it is not done in the areas where it is required that would solve the problem of, of, of this, this overproduction that we have right now. So then this poses a, a, a big bottleneck to the industry as a, as, a, as a whole. That is something that we have mentioned to the government also once more. We need an alternative to it. If we have always been saying that the mill is not investing where we, we can see that the production is being processed, then what is the sense of having big, big warehouses when the, 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 the production is standing on the fields? Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.